I am learning how to edit videos, so I spend a lot of time scrutinizing over every shot and every cut I make trying to learn how to stitch a video together. And so now that my mind is already on that train of thought, I see it everywhere. I basically can't watch another YouTube video for entertainment's sake, which is a silly complaint, because in all honesty it's kind of exciting to be able to dissect and rearrange how my favorite YouTubers assemble their thoughts into words and images. I think about when they cut, how do they deal with music, do they narrate, when do they narrate, how much b-roll is there, how many talking headshots are there, how does the video start, how does the video end, how does it become their style? And I'm fascinated by the mini high I get and the massive motivation this curiosity gives me. The same phenomenon happened to me in 11th grade AP Lang and then again in my first year of architecture school. Both, I now realize, reiterated the same lessons that can be summed in the word why. In high school, I was taught rhetorical analysis, and at the time, I struggled to grasp the concept and its application. But at some point in the school year, it clicked, and it was a jaw-dropping moment for me. I think the visual medium of film helped me understand that all the practical techniques that constitute the how part of the equation, in my case for class writing, mean nothing if they don't service the why. And then it happened. I saw rhetoric everywhere, in every single bit of media I consumed, and it was amazing. I had another mind-blowing moment in my foundation studio when I realized that what I had learned in high school English could be applied to architecture. Where previously no word was ever a throwaway word in a piece of literature, no bolt was ever th a throwaway detail in a piece of architecture. At least not if you're striving to create work that is exceptional. Once in the midst of my excitement for learning about this behind the scenes of films, someone told me that knowing all of that stuff ruins the movie magic for them. So what's the point in knowing the house? I will say there is something about the value of your first encounter with a piece of art or film or architecture, the innocent and pure experience of the object itself that needs no other justification than its own existence. But having said that, there is a magic in knowing how something came together and to know how something came to be a masterpiece. Magic is often seen as something mysterious and mystical, so it seems contradictory for magic to have a presence in both the unknown and the known. And yet, somehow, for me at least, the unshrouding, the demystifying of something is magical in and of itself. P.S. I can say things with confidence, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm right. There are just thoughts that are spewing out of my head, and probably nothing I've said here is new. It's just a revelatory moment from a personal collection of observations that I've had. Sometimes the more I know, the better it gets, and it's a fun process in the meantime. Stay safe, stay healthy, and go try something new.